Today on Nate's Interactive Auto, I can't believe what is inside all of the Fram oil filters. In a previous video, you saw me cut open a Fram. It had rust, debris, and moisture inside. So we decided to give it another chance against Motorcraft for a Ford F-150 and Wix. But unfortunately, the auto parts store we purchased the Frams from before, well, they don't even sell it anymore. And when I ask why, well, you fill in the blanks. So we went to the largest retail store in the world. And look what we found. Just about every filter has moisture inside. I mean, this is absolutely ridiculous. Now, I'll show you guys a few of the other filters. There's no moisture in the other brand filters. I'm not sure why. At first, I thought, I mean, this can't be possible, right? Well, actually, it's true. And... I don't want you to take my word for it. Go see for yourself. Next time you're at your local's auto parts store or a big retail store, if they even sell Fram at this point, well, you'll be able to see this for yourself. So we're gonna cut these filters open and take a closer look because there's really something bad going on here. I decided to give Fram a second chance, but it doesn't really matter at this point because apparently, there is really a quality issue. It wasn't just a one-time mistake because I have worked in several manufacturing facilities and I know that problems can happen, a one-time deal, but unfortunately for Fram, this doesn't appear to be a one-time deal because coming from two different stores, completely different locations, yet still we have really bad quality issues. Now let's cut our Fram open and take a closer look. And as well, I've got a surprise for you guys with one of the other filters. All of these filters were made for a 2015 Ford F-150. However, the filters in the previous video were made for a 2014 Hyundai Elantra GT. Not to mention, they came from different locations. So there's definitely no excuse for this batch of filters to be bad as well. We'll also be comparing against Motorcraft and Wix to give us a great ideal of just how good the quality really is. But as I did state, unfortunately, there is something wrong with one of the other filters, and I can't quite understand why it would be made this way. On purpose, that's right. It doesn't have all the great qualities as even the Fram, dare I say it. But you guys are gonna find out in just one moment what they left out that's so important on this oil filter. Unbelievable, guys. Now we have our Motorcraft filter cut open. Let's go ahead, cut open the Wix filter, one of the highest quality filters out there, as so many people think. Now the moment of truth, the Motorcraft base plate versus the Fram base plate. Seven inlet holes on the Motorcraft, eight inlet holes on the Fram filter. The Wix filter also has eight inlet holes on it as well. Let's check out the gasket materials for the Wix. Seems to be a high quality material, not made of your typical rubber, as you see on a lot of oil filters. The Motorcraft, also made of a high quality material. But the Fram, this is a much lower quality material rubber. Let's show you guys side by side. This way you can get a better comparison. Much different materials that can withstand a greater thermal differences in changes. Check it out. You can really see the difference on this one. But the wicks, just like the Motocraft, a really high quality material. This goes a long way, guys, as I've saw this cause many engine oil leaks. Now, for the anti-drain back valve, really good quality materials for the Motorcraft and Wix. But the Fram, nope, not so much. Really low quality material for the Fram oil filter on this as well. So, let's set out the filter medias and our oil bypass valves check out this stamp steel 
This is what's used to hold the filter media and the anti-drain back valve in place. The oil bypass valve on the frame is made in this stamp steel and as you can see it has moisture all over it which can really cause rust issues as you saw in previous videos and some really special surprises I have for you in this video as well. Here we have the oil bypass valve which allows engine oil flow in extreme cold temperatures or an oil blockage situation. Now the stamp steel made into the bypass valve is comparable to this Wix coil spring which holds a precise pressure on the filter for the anti-drain back valve and the rest of the filter components to work at a precise moment and precise pressure for the filter. However, I really wouldn't want to depend on this stamp steel to actually do the job at the right moment because you can see how this definitely would wear over a period of time, especially for today's extended oil drain intervals. On the Motocraft filter, it seems to be made of high quality material, except for the fact that it has glue runoff all over the filter. I've seen much worse, but look at the frame. I mean, really, this is probably the poorest quality material I've ever seen used on an oil filter. I mean, they really spared every single expense. I mean, just look how this stuff just peels off when you touch it. Do you really want to run that in your engine for seven to 10,000 miles? Well, definitely not, because it could cause a lot of engine damage. Look at the back of these base plates. Do you see any rust or any problems? No. However, look at the frame. It's already started to develop rust. I mean, really, what is it with these frame filters? I mean, they're just terrible quality. So let's take a little bit closer look and see just what's going on with these other filters. This is one extreme problem I have with the Motocraft oil filter. As you can see, there is no hole made in the Motocraft filter for the bypass valve, which really concerns me because this allows that engine flow in extreme cold temperatures or an oil blockage situation, as I stated earlier. Now, this uses a spring for the Wix filter, and yes, the Motocraft does use the stamp steel, but you've seen there was no bypass valve made inside of it like the other piece of stamp steel for the Fram, the Wix. You can see I'm working the bypass valve open and closed with this flathead screwdriver. I mean, really guys, this is super important. I'm not really sure why Motocraft wouldn't include this on the oil filter just as they've included it even on the Fram, they can see this is really important to have. Well, I don't know guys. So let's check out some other high quality parts of these filters. They all have steel center tubes that are each pretty good quality. We'll take measurements on the filter media to see how thick this filter media is to see which one gives the longest protection. We'll also pull the filter media out and take a tape measure and measure just how much filter media we actually have in feet. You can see we use steel end caps for the filters. I wanted you guys to see just how this filter looked when it was completely dissected. This is really important. Now I have heard of many Fram filters actually exploding guys and I'm really not surprised but 0.2 four six millimeters with these calipers now we'll go ahead and zero the calipers out this way we have a precise measurement for each engine oil filter let's take our measurement with our caliper for the Wix oil filter to see just how much this housing has over the frame or doesn't have for the measurement it would appear that we have 1.13 millimeters for the Wix oil filter. It's time for our Motocraft. Which one do you think has the strongest housing? Motocraft, Wix, or Fram? And guys, please don't forget to go to your local auto parts store or retailer and check out these uh, Fram filters for yourself. Start looking through them, open them up in the store, the ones that aren't closed off with tape or anything. 
0.48 millimeters for the Motocraft oil filter. This way you can see for yourself and I want you to let people know what you see. And don't forget you're protected by the Consumer Review Fairness Act. This way no company can take action against you for stating the truth about their products. Don't be bullied by these companies guys. Please share the truth. And don't forget they'll probably try to have this video taken down guys so I really want you to share this and spread the message as soon as possible because they're definitely going to try to put a stop to this but I just want you guys to have the honest truth that's what really matters we had 0.69 millimeters for the Fram 1.70 millimeters for the Wix oil filter now time for the Motorcraft moment of truth Let's see which one provides the most protection with the filter media. As you can see, we have zeroed the calipers out each time we've actually went to use it. So, let's check out the Motocraft oil filter. 0.73 millimeters for the Motocraft filter. I'm really curious to see which one actually provides the most filter media. Y'all, it got dark on us pretty quick. Wicks, 4 feet 7 inches in length. The Fram filter, 3 feet 8 inches in length. Now the Motocraft, 3 feet and 6 inches in length. Thanks for watching.